What's up, everyone? Happy Thanksgiving. Can't believe it's Thanksgiving already. We are at day 178 of the 365-day journey. Uh, almost halfway there. And we are back at Bay Park again. Check this out. Stand up here. Look at this. Look at this. Early in the morning. Sunshine day. Sunshine day. The bike over there. So what's up, everyone? Mike, Kevin, happy Thanksgiving. All right, so we're down here at Bay Park. And uh, a little bit late today because I said, you know what? No sense killing myself today. Let's, uh, let's hang out a little bit. Took a leisurely ride down here. And uh, I had to give you guys a message of the day. So obviously, Thanksgiving, we're going to talk about being thankful. Um, been talking about this all week, two parts of Thanksgiving, um, being thankful, being grateful and giving, giving, giving to those around us, um, reaching out to people that, um, may need you, that may need a, a pep talk, um, smiling at people, saying good morning, uh, just giving of yourself, um, give our light to others, uh, help them. Hey, all right, we're back. Lost signal for a second. All right, so thankful for this year. It's been uh, it's been a soul searching year for me. Um, back in um, back in I guess it was the end of April, uh, I got invited to an event down in Texas uh, called Million Dollar Mastermind, and it was given by a group uh, called the Break Free Academy in Apex. And you guys all heard me talk about it. Um, and what that did for me is opened my eyes to a lot of things. Um, I was kind of stuck, um, basically uh, didn't know my direction, had some stuff going on in my life, and um, kind of just needed, needed a uh, new, new beginning, new path. And so what happened was um, I got involved in this group, and I got exposed to hundreds and hundreds of people that are just uh, positive lights in the world, uh, that are doing big things, that are encouragers, that are battery chargers. And um, it's really, really, really opened my eyes to a lot of things. So bringing it back into Thanksgiving, what I've learned is that, you know, a lot of us are thankful for the, the good stuff. Yeah, I'm thankful for the kids. Love my kids. Six kids. Uh, love them. Thankful for success. Thankful for uh, health. Thankful for opportunity. Thankful for all the friends that get on here every morning. All the friends in my life. Uh, thank you. Thankful for all the good stuff in our life. But what we're not thankful for is the bad stuff, the things that suck. Um, David Goggins, we need to learn how to embrace the suck. And I don't mean to be loud on Thanksgiving morning, but um, we need to not play victim. Um, I found myself playing victim to a lot of things. And we need to realize that every hurdle in our life is something that we uh, has put us there to teach us a lesson. I've talked about this before. Um, we need to embrace that and not play victim. And we need to learn from that. And as soon as you switch your mindset from victim to learning, um, it changes everything. Um, right now I'm doing 75 hard, 30 day phase two, which means no drinking, um, staying on a diet, two workouts a day, gallon of water a day, um, taking a picture every day, reading a book every day. Um, and it's hard, 75 hard. Um, starts with 75 days. I did that. Already, um, followed by phase one and two, which are two 30 day challenges and keeps going. Everyone say, that's crazy. Why are you doing that during Thanksgiving? You know why? Because I need to make it hard. I need to learn how to control myself at Thanksgiving dinner. Today's going to be hard. No doubt. Um, there'll be a lot of great food around and I got to stick to a diet. I got to drink a gallon of water and I can't drink. And you know what that's going to do for me? So rather than stuffing my face and, uh, getting drunk, I'm going to be playing with my kids. And I'm going to be doing what I need to do. Um, we need those hard things in our life to make us grow. Uh, we need those hard things in our life to get us on track. Um, those of you who know, I don't talk about it that much, but my marriage fell apart. And it sucked. But you know what it did? It, uh, it got me to this place where I am. I was lost. I was fat. I was 305 pounds. I was drinking every day because um, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with myself. I wasn't happy with life. I wasn't happy with my situation. And I played victim. And until you own that, um, until you realize that you're not a victim, um, 
I got to own my own choices in life. I got to own my own situation. But what that's done for me is opened amazing doors for me. It's, it's introduced me to hundreds and hundreds of people. Uh, it's changed my whole outlook on life. It's got me here doing, we ride at dawn 178 days in a row, uh, riding my bike 10 miles up early in the morning, giving you guys messages, sharing some love. It's, um, it's really been life changing. Um, so, um, it's also allowed me uh, to kind of figure out my purpose here, that God put me here for a reason. And um, if I can share a little bit and help some of you <clears throat> um, make your lives a little bit better, uh, help you shine your light, like buddy Chris talked about, uh, you know, we let our light shine, but we need to encourage others to shine their light. And that's really the mission. Um, help, help others find the light inside themselves. So many people are struggling. So many people are going through bad stuff. 50% of marriages end in divorce. Um, and that's a lot of it because we got our heads up our ass. Let's face it, um, you know, we're lost. Uh, we're looking for the light. Uh, we're looking for direction. We're looking for a purpose. Um, so uh, this world's tough too. I mean, the, the fast-paced world that we're in, the grind. Um, talk about, I went to Argentina a bunch of years ago, and over there, um, you know, they, uh, they work to live, and here we live to work, and we got it backwards here. Uh, so we need to stop and enjoy the people in our life. Take one day at a time and uh, and just uh, just live life. Um, live every day. Wake up every morning grateful. Be thankful for the good, the bad, the ugly, the, um, the pretty. Whatever shows up in your life, be grateful. It's there for a purpose. It's there to help you grow. Um, <clears throat> so um, you start every morning being grateful. Um, we need to take a step back. We talk about a lot. We just figure out what we're doing. We get so caught up in the grind, so caught up in the hustle that we don't even realize why we're doing it anymore. Um, you know, we're always looking for the next thing. We're always looking for the next shiny object. We're always looking for the next thing that's going to make us happy. We're always looking for the next whatever. When we can't find happiness inside ourselves, <clears throat> we need to find that happiness inside ourselves. We need to connect with our inner selves and just figure out what we want and what our purpose is and what we're doing. Um, and then follow that purpose um you know we need to inspire each other we need to make the world a better place i say it every day uh, again it's a tough world that we live in <clears throat> and it is so much beautiful stuff so much beautiful stuff that we take for granted so many of us you know, a lot of you guys live in this area that, that are on here when was the last time you were at bay park down here by the water when was the last time you went to hempstead lake state park and took a walk around the lake um when was the last time you did something for yourself um my buddy Anthony Hudson talks about it all the time. You got to schedule fun in every day. You got to schedule something you want to do in every day. Um, you have to want to live every day. Thank God it's Monday. Thank God it's Tuesday. Thank God it's Wednesday. Every day you should be thankful for because every day should be fun. Every day should be the best day you can make it. And we should never be living for Friday. We should never be living for the weekend. We should never live for vacation. We need to make a conscious effort to make every day count. To make every day fun. To make every day um, a good day. And it's not always going to happen. And then when that day does go sideways, we ride at dawn again. That's the whole myth, uh, myth, uh, message of my band this year with Rewrite at Dawn 365. Um, no matter what happens in your life, you get up again and you try again. We ride at dawn every day. Get up again. We try again. We do it again. And uh, there you go. Kevin Brady was here yesterday. See, you know, Kevin's figured it out. I know Kevin's been through some stuff. And uh, it's... Uh, it's a journey. We learn every day, one day at a time. And um, a lot of us here have uh, been through some stuff, and we kind of all kind of gravitate towards each other. Uh, those of us that are kind of, I don't know, in the same energy space, same vibrational space, we call it. Um, but anyway, so Thanksgiving Day, um, it's, uh, we got a lot to be thankful for this year. It's been a, been a big, uh, big changing year, definitely. So <clears throat> shout out to all those people in my world that have come in. I started tagging people, and I just got to the point where Facebook basically kicked me off and said, you can't tag any more people. So uh, no one got tagged. So uh, it's all or nothing, right? Uh, but there's a lot of people I'd like to tag on here and just say thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for the support. And, uh, yeah, all good stuff. All good stuff. So um, let's jump in prayers. Uh, here we go. Here we Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, uh, thank you for everything you do in our lives. Thank you for this journey. Thank you for the people you keep bringing into my life. Thank you for, uh, thank you for the struggles, because that's what woke me up to a lot of things in my life. That's what woke me up to getting here in the morning and watching the sunrise and looking at the water and uh, connecting to me a lot of cool people and uh, really just life changing. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Uh, please give me the strength to keep going. Give me the strength to uh, keep this journey going. Give me the strength to help uh, those around me and be the person I need to be and the man I need to be and the father I need to be. And uh, amen. So, all right, Thanksgiving Day. I got to get back home. I told the kids I'd watch the parade with them. It starts uh, pretty soon now, I believe. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go home doing Weight Watchers. Luckily, turkey is free on the point scale in Weight Watchers. So turkey, veggies, I can do all that I drink a bunch of water and uh, we're going to spend some time later on down at Breezy Point with the kids and uh, I'll be on the beach later. I got to get a second workout in, which is probably going to be walking the beach. I'm not that upset about that one, my second 45 minute workout. And um, that's it. So I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. I appreciate all you those, all those people in my life that uh, in this last year have showed up and, and just been there for me. Um, Go out and be intentional. Go out and be thankful. Go out and be thankful for the good stuff and the bad stuff because the bad stuff is what makes you grow. Diamonds are made under pressure. Uh, remember that. So, all right, everyone. God bless. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, if anyone wants to ride with me tomorrow, reach out. Uh, I'm probably going to ride maybe a little bit later. Maybe we'll do a 7 o'clock ride tomorrow. Um, so, let's do that. 7 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, corner of Scarcliffe Drive and Cornwell Avenue. Uh, we ride at dawn, and um, let's see if someone joined me because like it's getting lonely riding here. Uh, Benny's always on here. He hasn't ridden in a while. Who else? Carl hasn't ridden in a while. A uh, bunch of you guys there. Uh, they used to ride. Uh, I know most of you have Friday off, so uh, FYE, forget your excuses. Let's ride together. Let's do a little Thanksgiving uh, day after Thanksgiving ride. Hi, everyone. Be well. If anyone needs anything, you know how to find me. Uh, I'm here for you. Appreciate you all. Remember, put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Start some fire in your life.